Hey, hey guys, Marcel here. I got the white whale absorbing the sun here at uh, the lookout point. Um, this is the lookout point. A tour bus just showed up right here. Here's a tour bus. And uh, so I've been camping here a couple nights. It's 14 day limit. Let me show See on the sign? It says camping limit 14 day. And then you can see here is the Acme Moto with my tire on it. And uh, my neighbor uh, Ed with his Can Am showed up, another retiree. And uh, this is the spot. So, like for camping at the lookout, you have to be within this box. Otherwise, there's just no camping, no parking, right? And uh, so, a few people, leave, you know, there's Ed's buddy's Can Am as well. And uh, hi there. And some people showed up on buses. And, anyways, here's. Everyone seems to just kind of leave their rig out here because it's 14 days, you know, with uh, your annual pass generator running from that one guy. Um, and then there's like some parking for visitors and and uh, yeah, and then here is the um, the road that goes back down um, to the highway. And uh, there you go, a little handicap parking with some sand in the way. <laughs> And this is this is out in Glamis Dunes, guys, the Imperial Sand Dunes. And a uh, few people still wearing breathing barriers, you can see, because we're in California. So, uh, yeah, that, that's that's uh, where I'm hanging out, and uh, and I'll head her over to the wash here uh, to get a little closer, so I don't have because it's a long ways to dirt bike down the dune from here. I really need to carry some extra fuel, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then look at all the tourists here. Um, they're running up on the dunes here. Um, you can see them from the the Gray Line bus. This is the first time I've seen a bus up here. They're all, you know, one lady's like, it's like the Sahara, it's exactly the same. You can see no camping in this area, only that zone. But uh, yeah, guys, well, at least only one person's wearing a breathing barrier on this bus, so that's a good sign. People have given up on the stupidity of it, right? You know, uh, I, it's so tempting to just like, you know, kind of help that lady. It's like, hey, you got to do some new research on the breathing barrier because it's dangerous for several reasons, which I can't mention on sensor tube. Um, I, I guess since I called it that, you know, like the bacteria trap, it's a bacteria trap. Um, it, lim it, it limits your, um, it actually, the CO2, Builds up. You're breathing in. You're rebreathing in CO2, Oof. limiting uh, your brain function, among a few things. Especially if you're climbing up a sand dune. Like, oh boy. There, oh, she's climbing right up there. <laughs> you know, when you're when you're outside, you know, you just want to breathe that fresh air, and it'd be, be you'd be better off sitting next to a generator. Or any racing news over and out.